What's going on, YouTube? I'm here to make a long-awaited video on leveling a mower deck, but also I wanted to include some information on the science of the cut, you know, how the mower deck actually functions, you know, to clarify some things and to try to clear up some common misconceptions people have about the cutting process and the actual physics behind it. So to start, the key piece of information that I want people to really kind of grasp is the mower deck does not function off a vacuum. There is a feature of the cutting process, which is a partial vacuum. However, it's not a direct as a vacuum cleaner sucking air into say, you know, a bag container. More along the lines of it's the mower deck is using the blades to manipulate the air pressure underneath the deck shell. And what that does is according to, you know, aerodynamics, air wants to equilibrate pressure. So anywhere there's a low pressure zone, whether it be in the atmosphere, on the ground, the air is gonna to wanna to equilibrate and bring the pressure to an equilibrium. So as a result, the mower deck, what, you do, what it's doing is it's using the blades to create what some call a partial vacuum, but it really is a low pressure zone behind the fin of the blade. As the mower blade spins, it pushes the air that's in front of the blade out of the way, creating that kind of partial vacuum or low pressure zone. And it's absolutely essential that the mower deck's able to control the air that it's being, that's being pushed by the fin of the blade, you know, in a consistent manner. Otherwise it won't be able to maintain a good low pressure zone behind the blade fin, which is absolutely essential for a good lift because without that low pressure zone, you're not going to be getting the lift action of where the air from the outside of the deck wants to rush into the mower deck to try to fill the void left by the mower blade, that low pressure zone, it wants to equil equilibrate. So that is where your lift is coming from. But what's absolutely essential is that there's not too much air underneath the deck. Otherwise it's going to be impossible to control the airflow and where it goes. So as a result, you have the creation of a physical deck shell, right? You have that steel on top and the sides which prevent the air from coming in from the top, coming in from the side. So the only place it can come in is from underneath. So it has to come in along the edge of the mower deck from the sides of the mower deck or the rear of the mower deck because as you're moving forward, grass clippings are entering from the front and you don't want air interfering with the entering of grass clippings. So as a result, the air has to come from the rear. It has to come from the sides of the mower deck and it can't come from the ground because the ground's physically blocking it. So the only place it can come is from, is the distance from the ground to the edge of the top of the bottom of the deck shell, that gap. And that's why height of cut will change how much air can get into your mower deck is the lower you cut, the more you're, re you're basically reducing that height from the ground to the bottom of that deck shell. Therefore you're reducing the amount of air that can enter the mower deck. You raise it up, you're increasing the amount of air that can enter the mower deck. And if there's too much air and not enough grass, you're gonna start blowing air out in random directions. It's gonna change the airflow of your deck and you're not gonna get an even lift cut action from the low pressure zone created by the fin of the blade spinning and pushing the air out of the way. So it's absolutely essential that the mower deck is able to control the air that's coming in and at the same time, it has enough grass clippings underneath the deck so it doesn't get overwhelmed by the air coming in because there's too much volume underneath the deck available, not filled by grass, and therefore it gets overwhelmed and starts to lose the air from random directions, ruining your cut quality. So as a result, when you're cutting something that's really thick and dense and consistent, there is no area where a big you know, swath of air is gonna all of a sudden come under the deck and ruin your cut. But say you're cutting you know, a really consistent yard and there's a big broadleaf plantain that is a much lower height than the rest of the, of the turf around it, it's gonna introduce a pocket of air that will disrupt your cut. And that's why those changes hurt your cut quality so much. 
once again, because you're getting back to controlling the air, that's why deck level and rake is so essential to quality of cut. Because the rake and the deck level is effectively changing the height of the deck in terms of the bottom of that baffle edge to the ground, which like I said earlier, is what affects how much air gets in your deck. So you want the same amount of air coming across the whole rear and the whole sides of the deck. And you don't want any air coming in or out of the front of the deck. You only want grass entering the front of the deck. So the best way to achieve that is with a level mower deck and having the proper amount of rake. So that brings me to mower deck level and the process of doing it. The first thing you wanna do and the most difficult thing is finding some um, area that's actually level for all four tires of the machine. Most people don't properly check if the ground's level and therefore when they go to actually level the mower deck, even if their measurements say they're accurate, it won't be because all four tires don't have equal ground pressure. So what you do is you take, you can either take two by fours or four blocks of wood. You lower the deck onto those blocks of wood and then you go up to this pedal and you push it back to unload the spring weight. You can see here the spring that holds the deck up. Unload all the spring weight off of the mower deck and then you put the pin behind the lever that actually it's usually rests on to hold the machine mower deck and the spring weight off of the deck and that takes the weight off the front of the two caster tires once you do that you can come up to the caster tires grab them and try to move them side to side right and when you do you can see my the one on my right is much tighter and harder to move than the one on my left which tells me that the mower is not sitting on even ground right now so I have to move and do the test again until both of those front tires feel the exact same pressure as you turn them side to side. Once you have that pressure equal, you know, equilibration felt, you know, you know that the weight's the same, then you can proceed to the next step of actually lever leveling your mower deck, which I recommend leveling it at the height of cut you use most often. So if you always are cutting at three inches, you should level it for at three inches. If you're always cutting at three and a half, you should level it at three and a half. I know the owner's manual will tend to give you a certain height of cut to level at, but oftentimes the mower deck selector height is not directly related to inches and is just an indicator relative to itself. So as a result, you have to measure with a tape measure physically off the ground to make sure that you know your three and a half is actually cutting at three and a half. So once you have all four tires you know you've ensured that they're level by making sure the two two fronts are tight then you can drop your mower deck to the height of cut that you want to be cutting at then the actual leveling process begins and the trick when the, you start the leveling process is you want to make sure that first the deck is level left to right so what you do is you turn your blades on the far sides perpendicular to the machine's frame so across here on the versus the frame and you measure pointing at the edge of each angle left and right so the far left corner and far right corner and you make sure that that's measuring very close to your cut height once you have confirmed that both sides are measuring the same height left and right then you can proceed to your rake level so you have first start you know for example with your left blade forward to back you measure the back height then you go to your right side you measure the back height of the blade on the right side. You make sure that those two heights are the same. Once that's confirmed, the two rear are the same, then what you wanna do is you wanna measure the height of the blades front to back in the front of the left and the right, but also the middle. Because true deck rake is actually the difference between the height of cut between the middle blade facing front to back and the two back blades facing front to back, they're back of their blade. So once you have the height, of, the height measured and you know the two rears facing front to back equal, the front facing front to back matches the two fronts in height of cut, then you've achieved deck, your deck has been leveled. Now, the tricky part is you have to do all this while having operator weight on the machine. So say you weigh 180 pounds, you either have to get a buddy who weighs 180 pounds or put close to 180 pounds of weight on the seat to make sure the tire's sitting down and everything, you know, loaded up the way it's going to be when you're cutting. 
doesn't change the height of the rear of the deck. But if you can confirm that all four tires are the same, you've lowered the deck, you checked the deck rate, deck level left to right, so both sides, left, the left blade pointing left, you know, perpendicular to the frame is the same as the right blade pointing the same, uh, right perpendicular to the frame. They measure the same height. That means left to right. It's equal. Then you put the left and right blades front to back one at a time. You measure the rear height of both, make sure they match. And then once you've done that and you know they match, you go back to the middle, you measure the front, front of the middle blade and you make sure it matches the front of the two left and right blades. Once they match, you go back through the whole thing to make sure nothing's moved. And if it has not, you tighten your bolts down and your deck has now been leveled the correct way. And what you'll notice is if you go through all those steps properly and execute them well, the mower deck will not only leave a flatter, crisper cut, but you're also gonna get a further discharge because you're not losing air in any random directions and it should reduce the blowout the deck has as well. So hopefully that made sense and was helpful to you guys. Um, and that is the process that I went through to get this Toro to cut the way it does. And one thing I've noticed is decks that are more tightly baffled tend to be more sensitive to deck level because their total volume is lower. So a, a big rush of air is gonna affect them more than a more open style deck. So that is something to keep in mind that these more tightly baffled decks are more sensitive to deck level. But I uh, appreciate your guys' time uh, and thank you for watching.